Hello, everybody. My name is Paulus, and uh, I am not a robot, and I don't have a 360 degree view. I can't rotate my head. Neither, no one from here, uh, need, not, nor from you. Uh, I wonder how many of you are engineers? Could you please raise your hands, those who are engineers? Majority. That's good news. Okay, we have a uh, very good basis for advancement. Second question is, uh, if, we, if you think about your company turnover, uh, whose companies has most turnover from export of construction services and construction goods? So, this is also a good news, which means that a lot of us can improve and has good opportunities to grow. So, uh, life is full of questions and uh, I would like to discuss some of them. And uh, most important of them, uh, in my opinion, is defining us, defining me as a person, what I need and how should I achieve. Uh, let's imagine if we change wording and if we start asking questions who we are and what we need as a human species, uh, as a community, as, as, as a uh, country, as an industry, and how could we achieve it. And uh, current years uh, are redefining our goals, our main uh, directions we are developing, our thoughts and uh, how do we invent something. So it's health, it's peace, and it's uh, overall human race survival, what uh, we should be aiming for. Uh, Alphabet company has a daughter company called, called uh, Sidewalk Labs and they have some vision how should uh, future buildings look like. And uh, then we could like uh, ask who we are. Are we just attachment to Google as an application? Or uh, is it a matrix and we just imagine uh, those buildings? How could we change them, reprogram, uh, re make, make new, just make new app? Ah, by the way, question, who are construction engineers here. Could you raise your hands? And who are software engineers? And who could take both roles? Uh, very few. Okay, that's good, good sign <laughs> as well. So, uh, although Google still has not built any house by themselves yet, but they have this understanding that without real, without hardware, there is no way to develop a, a software. We are humans, we, are, we, we, we need uh, houses, we need specific things to touch, to feel, to smell. And uh, if we see, uh, this is nice picture of uh, uh, one of the largest uh, uh, buildings in uh, all over the world, uh, uh, in a built-in wood uh, structure uh, in Sweden. And this is most usual picture how we uh, Imagine something related with the contact technology, something virtual, something with software, something... Uh, I would prefer to try to deconstruct and to see into this uh, contact uh, topics ma mapping from this uh, specific perspective of uh, some of those uh, innovative uh, building solutions. So, we talk about design, uh, those are collaborative design, design simulations topic. If we talk about pre-construction, uh, it's uh, accepted that modular construction, smart materials, supply chain management are topics uh, to be developed. Uh, construction itself uh, focuses on on-site monitoring, risk management, workforce management. If we try to understand what kind of uh, uh, ecosystem of those startups in the con contact industry, we do have so those working with operation part, they make uh, some in innovations for projects, scheduling, collaboration management, document management, uh, from business perspective, binding process uh, management, etc. And uh, 
my point is uh, we could uh, have good uh, public relations with uh, virtual factories like uh, this one. Probably there is no one uh, in uh, this audience who doesn't know this case, right? Yeah. Uh, a few years ago, McKinsey and company um, issued a study next normal in the construction and they stated that around 45% of value will be redistributed and majority of this distribution will be related with the off-site construction. Off-site construction should get more from 20 to 30% value and uh, traditional general contractors should lose it. Next uh, point is understanding sustainability and uh, when we imagine a green building most usually those are something with planted facades, solar roof, solar panels, right? Okay, some timber and some tiny micro houses, off-grid houses, etc., right? Most common understanding, but actually the thing is that really sustainable construction is really much more complex and I won't go so deep into this because it, it won't be anything new but I just would, would like to encourage this uh, more complex thinking uh, and to solve complex problems we need sometimes to simplify this approach 40% of the green has, uh, green, uh, greenhouse gas uh, generated by buildings and uh, structural materials as a way, the best way to uh, absorb and long term store carbon in the buildings. It's uh, obvious uh, if we take into consideration the amount of uh, greenhouse gas uh, generated by traditional construction materials. And uh, taking into consideration everything what has been said before, uh, we should reshape this uh, map of uh, contact trends. I would like to uh, minimize those uh, keywords, topics to redesign as uh, most focus of LCA, life cycle assessment, and uh, total uh, introduction of, of total uh, using of uh, environmental product declaration of e each and a single construction project uh, pro uh, product in the design uh, there are a lot of opportunities with the standardization and automation of the design plus biophilic approach pre-construction uh, we could accept this is modular construction and smart materials and uh, from business perspective, most important word is integration, vertical integration. Nowadays, uh, if we take uh, mm, a look into contact from just Lithuanian perspective, we could be like uh, this uh, kitchen and cat from Hans Christian Andersen uh, tale about uh, those two animals living in a uh, wooden house uh, and uh, seeing all the world as uh, this one house. Uh, talking about contact, we need to talk uh, and to think about more uh, complex context and uh, those who are not yet in the export uh, business. You should uh, sometimes look a little bit into those who are. And uh, talking about sustainability, uh, we have few uh, main trends, uh, change in the main material, uh, wood is new uh, material of, of, we have some sort of renaissance of the wood because of minimized energy consumption, what has been said about uh, need to uh, decrease uh, dependence to uh, fossil fuel, we have this force, uh, we need to uh, not only replace Russian gas with Norwegian one or American gas, we need also to decrease uh, to, uh, significantly this energy consumption. CO2 reduction, uh, reforestation, uh, recycling of the materials, and uh, we see uh, it uh, uh, as some theoretical possibility uh, just check uh, what legislation are being introduced uh, all over Scandinavia and in other European countries. Step by step, one by one, they are introducing 
obligatory LCA and uh, specific uh, maximum limits of uh, carbon emissions uh, in the new buildings. So now they uh, successfully and efficiently working uh, uh, companies with the traditional materials uh, going into the prefabrication sector with the traditional kind of materials, they are al already starting to look how to minimize those emissions. Standard design. Who recognized this guy? No one? Uh, unfortunately, there are few architects, I guess, or no one. This is Walter Gropius, inventor of uh, Bauhaus. Uh, with, what main idea is uh, function uh, besides about aesthetic. So modern uh, standardized building systems we do have all over the Europe uh, are good examples to follow, uh, to implement or to learn from them to bring to the next level, uh, like Cree by Romberg, like uh, Boklog by Skanska and uh, Ikea, like uh, Poor Living by Kaufmann Bausysteme, Austria, or like uh, Sabo Kombohus, where municipal housing uh, is being built in a standardized way in Sweden. Lithuania has uh, made also some first steps and uh, it was a concept competition organized by Statiba and Architektura this year. And this is a picture of the winner. I hope uh, you will learn a lot more about it uh, later. And uh, here is a perfect example of design automation. Ah, sorry. Sorry, technical problems. Okay. One of the topics uh, to be discussed is uh, where, what is the level, where we should meet uh, to make this uh, standardization. Is this uh, on the level of overall building, is this on the level of volumetric modules uh, or volumetric parts of the building, or is this the level of a single component? Uh, innovative materials uh, allow us uh, to do this and uh, you can recognize some parts uh, of the building being uh, designed in the automated way. Uh, this particular system is based on the two main uh, materials. Uh, main load-bearing material is called LVL. And uh, what is amazing that some part of load-bearing uh, is being done by just a P5 particle board. Another amazing thing is that uh, humans are robots, but uh, they do it uh, much more efficiently than uh, robots uh, who could uh, make this framing and what is traditional way to make it uh, all over Scandinavia or in some Baltic countries, because uh, a lot of automation is done on design level and a lot of standardization is done on a structural level. So they basically assemble all structure as uh, you assemble uh, IKEA furniture. Although we, we understand perfectly well that uh, building is a much more complicated product than a piece of furniture, but if we manage to design it and to organize the flow of uh, information well, so this might be one of the ways how to develop this 
more efficiently. We can jump to the next uh, sample, which is uh, based on another, oh, sorry, innovative materials. residential construction solutions. Designing multi-storey residential buildings has never been easier. Using the B-Solution CAD plugin and the individually adaptable construction components allows architects and planners to quickly and easily draft their project. The digital twin thus generated forms the basis for a fast, well-founded, and precise cost calculation for your construction project. Based on your plans, we provide you with a fixed price offer, including all products and services included in the B solution. Once you're finished with your design, your building project is transformed into a 3D model, including all system details and fit-out information. During the design freeze process, all details of your project are visualized once again, reviewed, discussed, and finally confirmed. Work preparation for the industrialized production is generated almost fully automatically, directly from the digital twin. consists of industrially prefabricated standard components for customized solutions with a high level of living quality. CLTBBS as load-bearing elements forms the basis of all construction components. The B-Box is a prefabricated load-bearing sanitary model. Serving as a smart supply unit within the flat, it comes with all building service equipment pre-installed from factory. All supply and disposal lines run pre-installed inside a shaft at the, the rear of the next slide, please. Yeah, uh, so another interesting example to prefabricate uh, buildings is uh, performed by Austrian German uh, company called Gropius. They took the name of this famous architect and they, instead of making production line, they organized the production cell, producing uh, engineered wood uh, frame elements uh, for uh, walls and uh, CLT-based elements for ceilings. Uh, biophilic design perspective could, could also give a lot of benefits uh, and a lot of benefits uh, could be developed when we combine uh, new uh, remote uh, medicine uh, and uh, things of internet uh, technologies with the uh, construction uh, technology and uh, when we observe uh, uh, how well does uh, have, uh, those inhabitants or, or workers of an office building or inhabitants of a uh, residential apartment feel in a certain environment. Smart materials and uh, usage of them could also give a lot of boost uh, developing uh, contact technologies. Uh, the new concrete called uh, massive and reliable cross-laminated timber or uh, champion of circularity particle board. Uh, the strongest biomaterial, structural biomaterial laminated veneer lumber or the smartest one, hydroist. But to put it all together, we need vertically integrated business models to start from round logs and to make not only those uh, materials but also prefabricate components, uh, software and other solutions should be those uh, that could really make the prediction of uh, McKinsey and company true uh, and to create this value, to build not only lighthouse projects as this one 
Mjostornet uh, skyscraper in uh, Norway, built out of uh, various engineered wood materials, but to make a lot more mid-rise buildings, what we need the most. Thank you very much. Thank you, Paulus. <clears throat> okay, we have a few questions here. So maybe first one would be, so what actually, what is your opinion? What do we need for a more sustainable, probably design and construction? How or what should influence this change? You know, what would be your suggestion or prediction for the next steps? Uh, we have good case uh, with the introduction of energy efficiency in the buildings in Lithuania as well. Uh, right now we built A++ uh, new buildings, right? But uh, some time ago we haven't had uh, any measurement at all. Uh, and before introducing B as uh, B class of energy efficiency for new buildings, uh, there is first step, uh, start calculate energy efficiency. So third step is uh, accountability, start and calculate and uh, changing a perspective. Uh, thinking out of the box and thinking out of the box called Lithuania. We need to think globally and then act locally here with what we have currently uh, taken into consideration, all those prognoses on uh, material prices, on the uh, uh, situation in, in the real estate market choose the uh, right pilot projects and uh, plan carefully first step how to develop certain business, but uh, the vision, vision should be really uh, big and uh, we can't be afraid. We live once, so what do we have to lose? Okay, also from your presentation, it seems that the future of, of civil engineering, of construction, is actually a standardization, prefabrication. Is that right? And, this is uh, how we will end up? And uh, some synergy between uh, artificial intelligence and, uh, and uh, human intuition. Uh, next time we should have more architects here. I totally agree on that. Yeah. Okay, Paulus, thank you very much. Oh, once thank again, you very much. thanks to Paulus. <laughs>